Hi guys, it's Josh from Work With Josh Cohen here. Um, just taking five minutes out of my day to show you guys how to set up a retargeting campaign with AdWords. Um, I'm just porting a couple of new, um, well, a couple of existing campaigns over to a new AdWords account today um, and setting up a new retargeting list. So I thought I'd, I'd show you guys how to do it, why I do it, why it's so beneficial uh, and why you should be doing it. So firstly, retargeting, what is it? Well, you've probably all been there. If you can just imagine, you've been to Google, you've typed something in, you've gone to a website, you haven't bought anything maybe, you've come away from the website and then for the next week, two weeks after that, everywhere you go you see ads for that site everywhere it doesn't matter where you are whether you're in your email another blog another website you just constantly see these ads and I've had people before say you know I'm a little bit worried because they've got so much information about me how are they following me around the internet and all the rest of it well it's not nothing to worry about it's, it's simply cookie tracking you've probably seen recently a number of sites putting that privacy policy with the cookie update just saying that we use cookies on the site to track our visitors blah 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 nothing to worry about so that's that's how it works now let me show you how to set it up um, oh in fact before I do that why do we use retargeting well retargeting is second in terms of quality traffic is second maybe only to email marketing and you know at a push the reason why it's so good is because in fact it's very similar to email marketing you're emailing um, sorry, you're, you're marketing to a list of people that you know are interested in your products. So with email, obviously they're subscribers, so you know they're interested. With retargeting, they've been to your website, so you know they're interested. Now, obviously warm traffic converts at a much higher rate than cold traffic, so it makes all the sense in the world to set up a retargeting campaign and make sure that you're not missing out, excuse me, make sure that you're not missing out on any of the potential customers that would have you know forgotten about you had you just let them come to the site once and go so now we know why we're doing it and why it works let's show you how to set it up first thing you're going to need is a google adwords account it's free to set up you don't need a pay-per-click campaign you don't need to spend any money with pay-per-click to do this set up an adwords account on uh, come over to campaigns on the left hand side you'll see shared library uh, and then audiences you want to click on this and you'll see um, you'll see nothing here actually and you want to click new audience remarketing list and fill this out so the first bit is to find a list of site visitors based on the selection below URL contains so my URL is jokester.co.uk and I'm just going to stick with contains so that means any URL so it could be forward slash menswear womenswear cameras phones anything they will get added to the list now obviously you can go a lot more in depth with the parameters on this and add you know make lots of different remarketing lists for targeting specific products but what I'm going to do is just show you how to run it run through it quickly and obviously we can come back and address more more advanced steps in later videos membership duration is defaulted to 30 days I like to halve that to 15 days so that means from when a customer comes to your site a visitor comes to your site um, they will stay on your list for 15 days so you will serve ads to them around the web for 15 days or I, I should say Google will serve your ads to them uh, around the web for 15 days I'm going to call this test five, four or five um, and we're going to put a little description in here anything you want um, and we're going to start with an empty list you'll only have an option to do that um, obviously if you're setting this up for the first time you want to click save I'm not going to do that as I've already got um, a number of lists but once you've done that is you will see the list up here um, you will see main list and what you want to do is you see this tag based and you want to grab this tag so you come across here grab the tag and you'll see this bit of code here now what you want to do is get your developer to put this onto your web page um, on, on every page of your website just before the body close tag and um, it's as simple as that you know if you haven't got a developer you can outsource this for about five dollars um, or you can do it yourself if, if you've got a bit of knowledge. I outsource it. I don't know how to do it, um, but I know it's very easy to do. <laughs> uh, so once you've done that, you've got the retargeting list set up and you've got the retargeting tag set up on your site. You want to come back over here to um, AdWords again, come to campaigns, and come on. No, we want all on online campaigns. Here we go all online campaigns and what you're going to want to do is set up a new campaign so click new campaign search and display networks we're going to call this uh, test 3 we're going to come down we're going to 
desktops, laptops, mobiles, and tablets, all of those. Locations, UK for me. If you're in the US, obviously change that here. Um, well, default if you're on AdWords um, in the US anyway. Uh, bidding and budget. Default bid, I like to set at 10p. And budget, whatever you feel appropriate. I'm gonna put five pounds down for now. And you wanna press save and continue. Again, I'm not gonna do that because I've already got a few here. Once you've done that, you will see um, a campaign probably called retargeting or remarketing if that's what you've called it. What you want to do after you've got the campaign set up is create a new ad group. So you want to come across here to new ad group. We're going to call this one uh, remarketing2 and this will be, you want to be specific here, tablet PCs. Uh, so you put menswear, womenswear, you know if it's a different list, be specific so you know where you're at and in the create and add section you want to come across to display ad builder um, don't worry about keywords don't worry about the placements again set the defaults as you did for the campaign the same here in the ad group um, and click save so I have saved that one now what you'll see is that the display ad builder pops up you don't well I mean you can do this now but I'm not going to I'm going to show you how this would work so once you've done that you will see that um, you've got these one, two, three, four, five tabs at the top here. And if you see on my other list that I've already set up, sorry, my other campaign that I've already set up, um, you'll see there's quite a few, if I come to the same place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you see you've got two extra tabs on here. And this is very important, also very infuriating if you don't know how to do it. Uh, it's, it's taken me a while um, to work out where they put it in the most recent update, but I have done that. So in your tab, you will see you've got these here. You want to come back up to test uh, into the campaign and click settings. And then you can see here the type search and display network standard. Click edit. And we're going to go to all features and save. Now, I know some of you will say, you know, when you set up the campaign, you've got this option to go for all features. That's very true. However, when I seem to do it and it, it just throws the whole of my AdWords interface, it, it completely melts down. I've got to reshut. Um, I even had to restart the browser last time rather than just AdWords. It, it just had a meltdown. So I set it up as a standard, then come back in and click all features, click save. And you'll see you've got a couple more tabs up here. Once you've done that, you want to come back to your um, come back to your ad group, and you'll see display network. Click on display network, and you will see here interest and remarketing. You want to highlight interest and remarketing. Make sure that's done, and then we want to click change display targeting. Come down. Don't worry about the keywords. Don't worry about the placements. Don't worry about the topics for now. What we want is interest and remarketing. We're going to go to remarketing list, and you should see that your lists are here. Um, however many you've set up or not set up yet will be here. So all you've got to do, click this button, which brings it across selected audiences, and you will get a brief sort of bio of what they expect. Don't expect to see much here. I, I set this campaign up uh, about an hour ago and it's built 150 people onto the list so far. What Google requires is 100 people on the list. So if you set this up and maybe you're only getting 20 visitors to your site a day, it's you, you know, you're gonna have to leave it for five days before the re remarketing will kick in. So don't panic if it's not starting straight away. It's all dependent on your traffic. You obviously want at least 100 people on there for it to start going out to, otherwise people are gonna get saturated. And it's and it's not really going to be any of any use to anyone. So after you've selected the list, you can also um, get a bit deeper with the gender and age brackets. Um, I'm not going to worry about that for now. And once you've done that, you just click save. Really, is as simple as that. Um, I mean, I know there's a few steps in there, but in terms of you know the advanced technology of targeting that you're you know you're harnessing here. It's, it's not too complex to set up, I think you will agree. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just take it that one step further and show you a couple more bits that will just improve your campaign um, just that little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna show you, I haven't actually set this up, but I'm gonna come across to one that I have set up. Um, you can see, let's go here. Okay, so you can see, yeah, I have set this up. And we've so far got six impressions. This is the one I set up an hour ago. So it's got six impressions so far, no clicks. Um, that's fine, that's not a problem. Obviously at the moment it's only got 150 people in there. You're not gonna see 
very fast results unless you're getting you know thousands and thousands of people to the site. I think we get um, on one jig, so I think I get about seven to nine hundred people a day. Um, and so obviously that list is going to fill up very quickly. So if we come back tomorrow, we're going to see some good stats on here. Um, but let's show you how we can just take this a one step further. Now, one thing you're going to want to do potentially is delay the targeting. So you can imagine that people are coming to the site. Not all of them um, are going to buy there and then. In fact, not many people buy there and then. Some people will come and say, okay, I'm going to buy this product on Friday when I get paid. Some people are going to say, I'm going to show this to my wife. So what you're going to do with retargeting a lot of the time is spend more money than you need to. If you've got people that are coming to the site, they plan on buying anyway, and then you start sending them ads, then obviously you're going to pay more than you need to in order to get that sale. So something you can do is set up delay targeting. Uh, delayed targeting should I say and all, to, all you need to do to do that is come back to your shared library go to your audiences set up a new audience and for this audience you're going to want to um, you're going you're going to want to make sure that you set the cookie length to uh, a couple of days um, either side either side sorry no you're going to want to you want to make sure that the cookie length is set um, a couple of days from when they start from when they first visited the site so some people say five i reckon that's a bit on the long side i, I like to go with three days as a delay um for me that seems to work well um now that's retail e-commerce it may be different with digital goods it may be different you know with with other goods again um, but it's just something you can play around with but I think it's definitely worth at least putting maybe a 24 hour delay in excuse me I'm bringing again I need to start learning to turn the phone off before I start these videos so yeah that's one thing you can do uh, another point I'm going to show you quickly um, just to make it that much more targeted again is to go with some impression capping um, so in order to do that you want to come across to your retargeting and you can either cap this on a campaign level or on a ad group level it doesn't matter I'm going to do it on a campaign level just to show you um, what frequency capping means is that it's going to limit the number of times someone sees your ad in a given time frame so you obviously don't want one person to see your ad everywhere they go for four weeks and you know and, and that's all they see because that's going to be a bit intrusive they're going to probably start to uh, put the blinkers on and maybe block out your your company branding altogether so but at the same time obviously you want to maximize the amount of exposure you can get so in order to do this we're going to set up some um, impression capping to do that we come across the settings and this is our retargeting campaign. You want to scroll all the way down to advanced settings and we're going to go with ad delivery, ad rotation, frequency capping. Click that and frequency capping, click edit here. And we're going to go with two impressions per day per ad group, per ad group or per ad. Let's go with per ad, per day per ad. Yeah, so that means that every person that's on the list will only ever see two adverts um, that are the same on one day so I'm just gonna stick save on that there and you know something as simple as that can can really make a difference um, so guys that's been my video um, hope you find that retargeting works well I'd love to hear how you use it you know and, and, and how it works for you if there's anything that I've missed out anything more that you want to see let me know and I'll put together another video hopefully you know in the next couple of days if I've got some time um, but apart from that, thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped and I hope to see you again soon.